Yeah. My persuasive speech is on why the deer option is better for combines. Today I'll be going over two um, combines that are very competitive in the ag world. The John Deere X9 1100 class 11 combine and the Agco Gleaner Super S98. Now, I'm sure this is inverted on the screen, so hopefully you guys can at least see the chart behind me. I got some specs. Um, did you know the John Deere X9 combine can harvest over 30, up to 30 acres an hour? That is up to 11 semi-truck loads of grain in a day. That can very much so maximize your performance when you're harvesting on the field. Today I'll be going over some simple specs, paper specs, as well as other um, information on these two combines, such as um, service, um, specs, engine specs, and drivetrain specs, as well as threshing, grain holding um, capabilities, and such forth. The first thing I'll be going over is the um, threshing grain side of the combine. So the John Deere X9 has a 460 bushel hopper. Now, why this matters is because the bigger the uh, bushel hopper, the more grain you can hold, which means the less um, times you need to load, as well as less times you need to stop. Now, during harvest season, it's all about time. You don't know if a couple days later it could rain or if anything else could happen. So the faster you can get your crop out, the better, which also means more money in your pocket. Now, as you can see, the Agco Gleaner only has about a 390 bushel hopper. Now this is a huge difference, over about 100 uh, bushel difference here. Not so much, but it is still a significant difference. Uh, next, what ties into that is the John Deere X9 can load about 5.3 bushels a second. Now, like I said before, this is huge because it means the more bushel you can load a second, the faster you can get going, the faster your crop can get out of the ground. And the Eco only has about four bushels a second. They're pretty close, but when you really start crunching numbers and you do consistent unloads, you'll notice that that extra time adds up over, you know, adds up and the faster you can go. So next I'll talk about the um, the uh, um, threshing side of it. So your feeder house, your how the tractor or the combine um, cleans the grain. The John Deere X9 has about uh, two 24-inch twin rotors. Now, this is very different compared to what John Deere has previously done. They used to always have a single tine rotor. Now they have a twin rotor. This is uh, able to uh, get a more um, clean grain. It may be able to clean the grain. And, uh, for example, cone cobs, clean the cobs off better and have more um, grain coming in the combine through the feeder house and allow it to go faster and more quantities. Now the Agco has a two-stage um, cleaner, which really hasn't changed much since they first started doing the two-stage um, cleaning system. And the John Deere is way more advanced compared to the Agco and does just a better job. The Agco didn't get their nickname, the Silver Cedars. You know, they got it for a reason. They just research and farmers have proved that the Agco doesn't clean as good and leaves out um, residue in the trash from of grain. And every bit of grain loss, that's money out of your pocket, pretty much just going away. So next I'll talk about the engine and uh, drivetrain. Um, John Deere XN 1100 has John Deere's 13.6 liter turbo diesel pushing about at 690 horsepower. Now this is a huge engine um, and can provide up to 30% uh, more um, power when you have the threshing and the feeder house all engaged. Now the Echo Gleaner only has a 9.8 liter turbo diesel. Now, what I always say, there's no replacement for displacement. And the John Deere clearly has a bigger engine, way more efficient, fuel efficient, and uh, overall just a better engine. Now, the John Deere has a ProDrive XL hydrostat transmission. This is able to go up 30% faster than the Echo Gleaner, as well as the field. So road speeds and stuff like that, because obviously you don't want to go 10 miles an hour in the field, but when you really break it down, um, better transmission, um, more advanced. There's no more wires or cables in the transmission. It's all electronic, which also means um, you can easily shift on the fly and stuff like that. The Echo Gleaner only has a four-speed high bill, and it's really you know not making. It's just it's not as advanced as the John Deere's. Which, if you really don't want all the new technology, then 
I guess that part doesn't matter, but overall, the John Deere X9 transmission really holds up to more, especially when you have that huge hopper on top. It can really withstand the rest of the weight. Now, the last thing I'll be talking about is service and parts availability. So John Deere, John Deere dealers are everywhere. I mean, there's probably one in each county. And on the Agco side, you really don't see much Agco dealerships around. Now, that means... You know, it really depends on, you know, where you're threshing and where you're combining it at. And if your combine does break down, you want to be able to get parts that day and get back up and running. Because each minute you're down, that's lost time and that's money taken out of your pocket. So that cool. I mean, you just, they are some around, but they're just not as available. And part, the parts are just not as available as John Deere. John Deere has more dealerships with stock up parts and more parts availability. So you can just call up and say you're looking for this part and they can come out to you usually within 30 minutes and get it done for you. Depends on what the break is, obviously. So today I've explained to you why the John Deere combine is a better option. Uh, of course, you know, the three main points, which were the feeder house, the grain tank, you know, how much you can hold in the low grade, as well as the engine and drivetrain, as well as the parts and availability and service. So I hope now you realize why the John Deere Combine is a better option. Here's my audience. Two people on the phone.